Mirai here with another super informative IS Boxer video tutorial. This one is for the new guys and it's going to cover how to run your healers separate from the rest of your group. Now there are multiple ways of accomplishing this and this video is going to cover the most basic way of doing that. As you can see here, this video assumes you've already gone through and successfully completed the quick setup wizard and that your team is functional. Also, in order to effectively utilize what I'm about to show you, you'll need to choose an add-on of your choice. For this demonstration, I'll be using Grid paired up with Click. If you find that you don't like these add-ons, there are other alternatives out there such as Voodoo, Healbot, and possibly others. Now, here I am in-game with my tank and my healer at level 11. And, uh, 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 hello. I call these ladies my goddesses, and they are very very friendly. Anyway, let's set up my healer. This is my holy paladin, and these big rectangular blocks, this is grid. However, I've increased the scale of grid for the purpose of this video. I swear it's not normally so big. Now, click enables me to click on my unit frames and cast spells of my choice. Watch as I right click. Look how convenient that is. Well, that's great, Mirai, but how do we utilize this from my other character's window? Boy, am I glad you asked. IS Boxer comes equipped with a very sexy feature currently known as Video Effects. Sweet, bro. To set this up, open up the IS Boxer in-game GUI by pressing Control shift alt g If this keyboard shortcut isn't working for you, then you'll have to jump back into IS Boxer, go back into your character set, assign a key combination, and then re-export your settings. Back in game, click on the video effects tab and create a source by choosing source from the drop down menu, naming it, and then clicking add. Drag this newly created box over the grid add-on and resize it so that it covers the entire area. Again, I'm only covering the basics on how to get players started as quickly as possible. We're done here, so close up the in-game GUI using the same keyboard shortcut as before, and let's jump back over to the character I'm going to be leading with. Open up the in-game GUI over here and make your way back to the Video Effects tab. To create a viewer for your source, choose Viewer from the drop-down menu, give it the same name that you gave the source, and click Add. Now, drag this box wherever is convenient for you, and after you've got it positioned, come back over to the in-game GUI options. This, my friends, is where the magic happens. You'll want to check this box here, called Repeater Pass-Through. Then in the drop-down menu below that, choose the slot that your healer resides in. And of course, don't forget to press apply after any changes you make. This will enable me to click grid on my healer's screen from this window. Check it out. Now that we've got that set up, let's go try this out in a much more dangerous environment. Oh hey, one quick tip before we go take over Elwyn Forest with our new awesome team. By default, Ice Boxer's key maps are set up to broadcast to all of your game windows and this might make your healer try to attack when they should actually be healing. In order to make sure that this doesn't happen, you will probably want to clear your healer's action bars. You don't have to actually pull everything off of them, just go ahead and change to an unused page, like this. Now that we've got everything straightened out, let's gather up a few mobs and I can show you how this works. Let's grab him, and we'll go get them. Now, three mobs might not seem like a big deal for a paladin who's wearing heavier armor, but pretend you're a rogue or a feral druid or whoever in a situation like this. You're probably going to have some trouble trying to take these guys down. But regardless of the class, having an extra healer makes this trivial and you can see how easy this is done with Ice Boxer. You know what? I'm feeling generous, so I'm going to give you another tip. You'll notice that my healer is constantly following me and that if I was to move while she's in the middle of a cast, well that would interrupt it. Now, in order to make her stop following me, we'll need to send a movement key to her window. We'll jump back in IS Boxer one more time and set this up. Navigate to this character set's key maps and create a new mapped key. Name it, and then set a hotkey that is relatively easy to press. I'll use one of my extra mouse buttons as my hotkey. Next, go into step 1, right click on actions, and choose new keystroke action. The target is going to be the slot that your healer resides in and the key combination should be set to a movement key because movement keys break follow. Once you're done here, re-export your settings and refresh your game windows by typing slash reload. Okay, so I'll go ahead and use this on my next pull. 
Oh, we aggroed this guy, so let's grab him. Now I'm going to head this way before I drop her off, because I'm going to gather up a whole bunch of mobs this time. Right up here looks like a good spot to drop her off and grab these guys. I always try and build up a little bit of aggro before I start casting a bunch of heals, because it can happen where she gets healing aggro if you're not careful. Just like that, so let's come back this way and fix that. Now, you're really getting to see the beginning potential of what having a spare healer can do for you. Oh, getting a little low. Boom goes the dynamite. Clutch. Clutch healing, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This is how we do it. These guys ain't got nothing. Uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, well. Wha time out. Time out. I'm gonna have to throw the challenge flag in on this one, Blizzard. Can we get a replay, please? Well, you know, it's a tough call, but clearly latency was not in my favor this time around. I guess I need to work on my healing or not be so greedy next time. Well, that concludes this video, so there you have it. A quick beginner video on the do's and don'ts of healing in IS Boxer. If you happen to seek further knowledge in the realm of multiboxing, you should probably head over to isboxer.com, where there are more advanced guides on how to utilize click healing and just multibox in general. That's it, guys. Mirai out.